would be a good one. We have Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Gogeta versus Moral with Maris' abilities copied. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Unreal Royale back at it once again with Dragon Balls Universe 2 mods, introducing Evolution Gogeta versus Angelic Moral. And in the comment section below, I want to go on ahead and get your thoughts on the overall hypothetical of Gogeta having to transcend the powers of Super Saiyan Blue and achieving Super Saiyan Blue evolution very similar to Vegeta during the TOP versus Moro, who just so happened to have copied the powers of an angel trainee. So, do you guys believe that Gogeta would actually be able to tear him apart, or do you guys believe that Angelic Moro would simply be too much for someone like Gogeta to handle? Now, right now, I am doing a best out of three, and I'm not gonna lie, Gogeta is kind of giving me a little bit of a hard time, even though I do believe that this mod right now, this mod showcase, kind of has Moro above Gogeta in terms of health, but honestly speaking, if we did have the hypothetical of a mastered Ultra Instinct Moro versus a Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Gogeta, I'm sorry to say, I think that as tough as Gogeta would be, this fight would probably favor Moro only because if he doesn't have the faulty ability to merge himself in the ground and melt due to the overwhelming pressure of Maris' power, then surely enough he takes the cake. But we're counting a Gogeta who has a substantial increase in power, I would say, considering both Goku and Vegeta post-TOP, post-Broly. I think that without question they would put up a very good fight, but just like what we're seeing now, yo, this is insane. Wait, can I finish him off with this? Ooh, I think we got, yeah, we got, we got it right in the bag. Wow, that was an easy victory. See, I, I don't think it would be that easy because now we're going to be switching off with Gogeta, but let's just see how this fares off with us having to pick Gogeta now instead. Now for this ISO, I will give Gogeta credit only because I know that he could probably put up a very good fight here, but I think with all things considered, what we've seen go down with Murno, I think Moro is simply too strong and has way too much health for someone like Gogeta now to handle. So, if of course you guys are new, smash that subscribe button and more importantly give this video a big fat thumbs up. It does help us out with the algorithm a lot. And if you guys have missed out the previous videos, you guys can go on ahead and check those out down below as well. I want to see if I can put a whooping on this dude because he's pretty, he's pretty tough. But I think that this version of Gogeta has some pretty interesting skill sets and moves that I can use here. But the only thing is that I really wish is... I really wish that this game, because this game is one of the most modded Dragon Ball games out there. The only reason why I think that a lot of people still play this game is because of the mods. Which, I mean, all credit goes out to the modders of this community. But, I think that they should have included something else. I, I feel like there was something missing within Xenoverse 2. I, I, I can't put my finger on it, right? But I think that there's something missing that is kind of harpening on people going back to play it as much, I would say. Um, but I, either way, it's been over, co going on five years since the game came out in 2016, right? So this October will mark its five year, no, six year anniversary, I think. So since it's released, or five years, whatever the case may be, it's been a very long time, half, way more than half a decade, right? So let me see if I can put this dude down. And you know what, what I really hope is I hope that going forward, we get to see characters like Moro, even though he's a manga adapted to the character, I really do hope that we get to see more of him, you know, in, in, in future Dragon Ball games and stuff like that, but let me see if I can finesse my boy real quick, because I'm trying my best to hit him with that Spirit Vanisher, and, and that's a pretty, that's a pretty solid move. Oh, can I, oh, damn it, he stopped me. Yeah, like I said before, I mean, I, I think that this fight probably would have neared its end for him if he was a standardized character, but since he's not, and his health is all the way up there, this is going to be a very difficult fight for me, but you know what I, what I want to do is I want to see if I can finish this fight by using the Soul Punisher, because I was so lucky to have Murno basically do his thing and destroy this dude prior, but if I can't do that, then I guess I'm gonna have to figure something else out, because this dude's tough, and I'm gonna have to put him down in some way, shape, or form, in some way, shape, or fashion, right? So, also what I want to know is, let's just say if Moro never lost the ability of having Ultra Instinct, then how strong would he be? Like, like realistically, would he be stronger than the Fusions? Would he be stronger easily than Beerus? Would he be stronger than MUI Goku? Would he be as strong as perhaps Whis? Like, I, I do want to get your thoughts on this because... 
you know, just the amount of, uh, I, I, I think, possibilities for characters like him, considering that he never trained, and considering the fact that he was able to just go by copying people and just eating people and stuff like that, it was pretty, it was pretty surreal. But then again, it's like you had other characters that, that basically did the same thing like Cell, right? Cell was just born with the gifts of all the other fighters, so he didn't really have to train as much, but we're talking about a potential hypothetical Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Gogeta, right? This is Vegeta's version of an ascended version of a Super Saiyan Blue. So, that wasn't the uh, Soul Punisher that I was looking for, to be honest. I want to see if I can catch him with my ultimate. If I can do that, then, hold on, let, let's, let's just see. I, I, or maybe I can launch my Divine Kamehameha and blow him into pieces. If I can't do that, then I guess we've already lost this fight. So, yo, do you see the whooping I've been giving this dude? Let me, look at this, just a pure ass whooping. And for some weird reason, he's still in this fight. So, maybe, maybe I can launch that Divine Kamehameha and uh, finish him off for good. Or, or we can just die. How about that? We could just end up dying instead. Okay, so zero for Gogeta. One up for Moro, it's time for the last fight to see who's going to be walking away with the victory by the end of this one. I think that as we're nearing the end of this battle, what I want to know from you guys is if there's any other character you guys want to see battle against Moro, then I want you guys to let me know in the comment section below. It could be Vegito, it could be Beerus. I want to see who I could put against Morris or Moro Maris Absorbed just because I know that his strength is slightly up there and his health is just insane. So I really want to see if I can gauge someone else to try and get this fight in for me to kind of get the better of him. I, I know that my Super Saiyan 5s and my Super Saiyan 8 warriors and my Time Breaker characters, they could probably get the job done easily if that because some of these mods for Xenoverse are so unbalanced. But look at this dude. This dude Gogeta is just blocking everything with his spine. That's crazy. Let me see. I I, I, I know I can get the better of him. I want to see. Oh, that's bad. I do not want him to hit me with a soul punisher of his own. I Okay, so in the comment section, right? If Gogeta actually hit and landed the soul punisher, would that effectively tear Moro apart? Or would that kind of create leeway to damage him, but not kill him, right? Because I know some people are going to say, well, the soul punisher would tear him apart, and there's no way he could win. So I want to know from you guys, do you guys genuinely believe that the Soul Punisher could tear him apart, or do you guys believe that the Soul Punisher would simply do damage, but really not do anything to damage him by the end of this? So, I want to see, I, I, I definitely feel as if Moro's going to take the victory on this one, because, oh, this is getting good. I mean, props to Gogeta. He's hanging in there for as long as he can, but I think this fight is long done. This dude, plus he has UI, plus he's incredibly powerful, like, Moro is a very tough opponent so let's just see how far we can go unless he can get the better of me but yeah oh yeah it's the end of the world yeah that's that's all she wrote that's it wow what an, what a seemingly unbeatable character man again thank you all so much for watching thank you all so much for your time tune back in for more give this video a like slap that subscribe button and i'll be seeing you all down in the comment section below guys